So welcome to the Ten Acre Woods. This week we have a few surprises for you. Surprise number one is not the, not the goose. <laughs> this is our little surprise here. So Velvet had one and two little kid goats. So I guess Velvet was playing a little hard to get, weren't you, Velvet? And she is a little late in having her kids. So it happened today at noon, and uh, the girls let me know when I got home. So there we go. Two healthy little kids. This one is a boy, and... This one, who is named Marge, after a woman who was visiting from northwestern Ontario and loves goats, uh, sat here on the bale of hay and watched the whole thing happen. So we decided to name her Marge or Margie. Good job, Velvet. So kid goats aren't the only thing that uh, has stopped by here in the last 24 hours. The other thing, or things, are these little kids here. Little piglets. So these are American mini pigs, and they had some skin issues, so we, uh, we brought them in here and put them in this section, and smothered them with some coconut oil and got them all lubed up, and now they're just relaxing and sleeping. And the other stars here are these little guys here. Now these are pot-bellied pigs. And there was seven, so there's five of these and two of the American Minis. Now the story of these guys, uh, the person who had them wants the American Minis to be friendly and wants us to um, help them out in uh, doing some hands-on stuff with them. And the pot-bellied pigs he's looking to uh, have rehomed. So they will be, uh, will be looking for people for adoption for those pigs. So let's go in and see how they are. So what we do is in making pet-friendly animals is of course you need a lot of patience and some food doesn't uh, hurt. You guys want some food? It just takes time and some people just don't have the time to spend. Not like saying I have a lot of time, but we have volunteers that come, on, come in and will sit with the pigs and the kid goats uh, and imprint on them. Now these ones are a little bit older. I think they're about two, they're about two or three months old from what I recall correctly. Uh, so of course they're weaned, there's no mom around. Um, but uh, we're not quite sure how much contact they've had, if any, uh, at prior ages, probably very little. So they have to get used to us and, and especially with the move, they, you know, haven't, uh, uh, haven't seen anybody else and this is a new surrounding. So of course it's gonna take a little bit of time now, with our piglets that we had last year, I had little bits of apple, and I sat with them, and they eventually came over. Uh, I didn't bring any apples out, I meant to. Uh, I'll have to do that and grab some apple, and, and uh, that nice sweet smell uh, they really enjoy, and, and they'll generally come over. So we're gonna see how these oats work, and uh, see if I can get them to come over. Too bad. Take a little bit of time before we're giving you belly rubs, won't it?
there you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, so that's today's lesson. The hand that feeds is a friendly hand. So this morning we took Petrie, the peregrine falcon, into uh, somebody who can care for them. Of course, we don't have permits for peregrine falcons here, and they are endangered species in Manitoba. So we'll, uh, we'll cut to that video that I took this morning uh, when heading off to work. And um, you can see how, uh, how we got them all crated up and ready to go. Got them? There we go. All right, put him in his Craig box. <laughs> all right. Close them up. Making sure it's not supposed to hurt anything. Yeah. Well, that's it for this midweek episode of the Ten Acre Woods. Uh, when it rains, it pours in animals coming in, so to speak. Uh, so two kid goats, uh, two American mini pigs, and five pot-bellied pigs. Uh, and then, of course, the one peregrine falcon. So uh, he is doing fine when I dropped him off. Everything sounded good. They thought he was in good shape. Um, but uh, we'll have to wait and find out what happens. Hopefully uh, he can be retained and used for educational purposes. Uh, but unfortunately, since it's endangered in Manitoba, it needs to go somewhere uh, where they have permits for that kind of wildlife. Anyway, that's it. Uh, this weekend we're heading to a fair and we'll be uh, taking you on the road. So until then, we'll see you next time.